the experiment to calculate uh, latent heat diffusion of ice. To do that, we're going to use some ice and some warm water. And for this experiment, I'm using a digital thermometer. So I'm going to measure the mass of water first and then add some warm water, which is 106.5 grams and its temperature let's wait right now i can see on my data table it's 69.5 degrees and you can see it's gone down um, yeah it's already going down because it's cooling so I'm gonna take the temperature I will stir and you see it's already going down I'm gonna take the temperature at the instant that I have uh, the measurement of my ice in so I'll zero this again so I'm gonna take a mass of ice but I have to do this very quickly because I don't want mass of ice to be lost once I measure it and put it in here. So I'm going to do this very quickly. I'm going to record the mass of ice. It's 25.4 grams. And then drop it in. And now we wait for it to melt. As it melts, we're going to see on our graph and on our data table an obvious decrease. I'm going to keep stirring. And you can see in my cup, that ice is already gotten much smaller but I'm waiting for it to melt completely because I know the measured mass already so I need to use that mass in the equation uh, so that whole mass needs to melt uh, to be able to make my calculations you see it's already quite small and I check my data table it's down to 41.7 and you can see the cooling curve right here, pretty smooth. And let's see, I keep stirring. My ice is almost gone completely. And we're almost there. And you can see my curve still goes on. There are little spikes. These are the times that I stir, but that's okay. Uh, we wanna see the curve. We do, and we want the final temperature. So now my ice, I see a little bit, and now it's gone. So I'm gonna make the recording at this instant, 38.5 as my final temperature. Time to calculate.